Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with Good E Reader, and today we're going to give you an instructional video on how to copy ebooks to your brand new Kobo Touch. This is the brand new e reader that just came out from Kobo. It's fully touch screen, and if you want to know more about this e reader, you can check out the full review video that we did, as well as our full written review, and you can check that all out at goodyreader.com slash blog, or you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goodereader. So the Kobo Touch reads EPUB and PDF files. This means that you can load in your own books that you've downloaded from other sites. You can also load books into this device that you have purchased from other sites such as Barnes & Noble, Borders, Smashwords, and so on. And you can actually buy books on the device. So we're going to show you three different ways using three different programs in order to transfer books to your device. We're going to show you how to copy books using Adobe Digital Editions and you would use this program if you have purchased books that have DRM or Digital Rights Management. So if you've purchased books from other stores that's the program you want to use. We're also going to show you how to copy books using Calibre and Calibre is a free program. It allows you to have more of a flexible management in the way that you organize your ebook libraries and we also show you good old Windows Explorer. So when you get your Kobo Touch it does come with a USB to micro USB cable. So what you want to do is you want to actually plug that into your device and then you'll see a menu saying cancel or connect. We want to connect. So we have now facilitated a data connection between our Kobo and our computer and you can see that here via the pop-up. So we're going to close this for now and we're going to open up Calibre. You want to download the most recent edition of Calibre because they just implemented Kobo Touch support. And what you know caliber for those of you that have never used it before it's a way that you could organize your ebook libraries a little bit more effectively so we're gonna click add books from a single directory and give you guys an indication on what that's like we're gonna load up city of veils so you can see here there's cover art it tells you what ebook format it's in as well as the description of the book if i wanted to actually edit this book i could right click, click Go to edit metadata and edit metadata individually and you can see here that there is a myriad of options. I can change the title, I can change the author, the series, the way that the title and author sort goes. I can change the ISBN number if I wanted to. So if I'm the type of person that maybe wants the author's first name first, I can sort it out that way. But most people like the last name. So when I want to look up this author on my e-reader, I would just go to the F's and then look it up by her last name. What I want to do is I want to actually copy this e-book to my device. So you can see here an icon called device and that means that the Kobo is now hooked up. If I click on that, I actually see all the books that are on my e-reader. So what I want to do is I want to click on add books, add books from a single directory and then click City of Ales. You can see maybe at the bottom of the screen it says Jobs 1 and it's going. This means that it's actually copying the book uh, to our e-reader and once it has stopped it means it is finished and you can see here that there's a little check mark on the screen letting me know that it's sent it to the e-reader. So this book is now officially copied to our e-reader. What we're going to do is we're going to go through with the other ways of copying books to our Kobo Touch and then just verify that all the procedures were correct. The next thing that we want to do is load up Adobe Digital Editions. Now this is the first time that I have used Adobe Digital Editions with my Kobo so I must authorize the device. So it's been successfully authorized. Now. A few words about Adobe Digital Editions. It is a free download and again you want to use Adobe Digital Editions if you have purchased books with digital rights management from other ebook stores. So this includes protected content, 
such as PDF files, EPUB files, and so on. Now you can see here that it says all items borrowed, purchased. So you can use Adobe Digital Editions with books that you have borrowed from the library and the Kobo Touch definitely supports books that you have uh, borrowed from libraries using OverDrive or various other programs. And you can see here it has a picture of it and says Adobe, I mean uh, Kobo Reader. Now. There's no books here, but we want to add a book. So you can see next to the library, there's a little drop down icon there. We want to click that, and then there's an option there called Add Item to Library. We want to add Criers Cross by Lisa McMahon. So here's the book here, but it's not on our Kobo e reader yet. What you want to do is left click so you can move it around, and then you simply just drag and drop it. So you can see it says X, the X is in red, and then when I want to drop it to my Kobo e-reader, the X is now green. Now it's copied to our Kobo e-reader. The last way that I want to show you is how to use Windows Explorer. Uh, Windows Explorer is the most uh, common way that people sort of do these sort of things. So. What I want to do is I want to access the Kobo Reader, which is on my iDrive. And what I want to do is take Toys by James Patterson. I can simply just left click and drag and drop. Or I can right click, click copy, right click again, and then click paste. So those are three different ways in order to copy ebooks to your Kobo Touch. Now we, what we want to do is we want to verify on our Kobo e-reader that the three books we copied over were copied over successfully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it from my computer. And it says processing content. This is a good sign that the Kobo has taken the three books that I copied over. So you can see even on the front page, it says James Patterson Toys, Criers Cross, as well as the, the new book City of Veils that we copied over. So right on the, the front page, as you can see here, it lists the books that we just copied. So that's a good indication that everything worked. What we're going to do is we're going to hit library, we're going to hit books, there you can go is the city of Vales, is where it's Criers Cross, and there's the book Toys by James Patterson. So all three books have copied over, but let's say that I'm going on vacation and say I have instead of just two pages of books in my book library, I have hundreds. So maybe what I want to do is open up the book Toys by uh, James Patterson here. And I want to add it to my short list. A short list is sort of like my own sort of user uh, book account. What I can simply do is uh, click in the middle of the page. I think maybe I have to actually get past the table of contents to do this. Okay, so I pressed in the middle of the device and you see this little menu pop up right here. What I want to do is click, whoops, not that. I want to click the little menu there and I want to add Add to shortlist. Now I'm going to click back. Now I'm going to hit library. And I'm going to hit shortlist. And there is Toys by James Patterson. So say I'm going on vacation, I'm going out, and these are the three books that I want to read during my vacation. There you go. That's your shortlist. So hopefully this uh, video has been informative and it has taught you how to copy ebooks to your new Kobo Touch e-reader. For good e-reader, this is Marcus, and everybody take care.